There have been startling recent developments in the last hundred years in physics, in astronomy, that strongly support theism, strongly support the idea of a creator, and are invulnerable to Darwinian attack. Here comes the Big Bang woo, or the fine-tuning woo, or whatever pseudoscience he's about to pull out of his ass. How did God occupy his time prior to creating a universe? And to this question, Augustine gave an astounding answer. He said, in effect, God created time along with the universe. In other words, before the universe, and we have to put the word before in quotation marks, there was no time. Once upon a time, there was no time. A kind of startling idea. Except that today, if you walk into an introductory physics course, you will learn that one of the direct implications of the Big Bang is that not only matter, but space and time had a beginning. What we know about the Big Bang corroborates the idea that time did not precede the universe, but it in no way corroborates the idea that a god had anything to do with time or the universe. That's an entirely superfluous assumption. Here's a second thought. In recent decades, scientists have asked the following question, and that is, why does the universe have the values that it does? Because of a magical ghost who loves us, obviously. What is the atheist explanation for how they came to be what they are? Why is the universe apparently fine-tuned for life? It would seem, Occam's razor, the, the logic of simplicity, would seem to say, a creator designed it that way. Really? Occam's Razor says that the simplest explanation is usually the right one. Do you really believe that a conscious, disembodied designer, one which must be able to exist independently of the universe, and apparently any universe if you believe that this designer created absolutely everything, is a simpler explanation than a multiverse in which all possible universes are instantiated? Do you really believe that it's simpler than supposing that there's some as yet unknown necessity that forces the constants to be what they are? Do you really believe that this is a simpler explanation than even chance, even given the one in a trillion, trillion, trillion odds or whatever of the constants coming about by chance, that still seems to me to be a simpler explanation than the incomprehensible notion of a timeless, spaceless, disembodied mind. We may not know who built the car, or we may not know who did the painting, but is it even reasonable to suggest that the universe and all its laws created themselves? I don't think it's necessary to assume that they were created at all. The idea that their existence is finite in the past does not denote the contingency of their existence, despite what the Kalam argument claims. It is not necessarily the case that everything which begins to exist has a cause. If we think of modern science, modern science has spent the last 500 years doing what? Excavating the intelligence built into the laws of nature. Wrong. It has found patterns in nature. Dinesh is one of those apologists who thinks that non-random patterns are the same thing as intelligence or somehow denote intelligence. They don't. 